Welcome to the Zoom Player subtitle configuration video. The Zoom Player by default opens subtitles that have the same base name as the video file you're trying to open. For example, if I open a new video, for example this video here which is open already, and I choose to show subtitle files, you can see that it has the same file name just with the subtitle extension, the SRT extension. I already have the file open, so and you can see it's already showing subtitles. So what I do next is I want to configure how the subtitles would appear on the screen. To do that, I open the subtitle configuration dialog, which I can do by pressing on the keyboard Alt S, S for subtitles. Now that I have the subtitle configuration dialog open, I can choose the text setting which allow me to configure the localization of the font in case you're using non-English subtitles and which font is used, its size and color and transparency effect, even screen alignment. So right now my subtitles are displaying the Arial font and it's using the default language code which means whatever your system is currently configured if it's English, it will show English. If it's uh, Russian, it will show Russian. But you can override the default setting and specify a language manually to ensure that language files, language subtitle files that do not contain localization information will, be, will display properly in your language. So I'll return it right now to the default because we're using English subtitles. And here you can control various aspects of the subtitles. You can turn it, you can make it smaller, bigger. Um, you can outline it, you can box it. I prefer to have without shadows. By default, you may, may see shadows on the subtitles, but I prefer it without shadows. I think it's clearer and takes less, less screen space. And you can choose uh, the primary colors and the outline colors, the shadow colors, basically anything to do with how the subtitles are rendered on the, on the video. Once I've made my selection, I click OK. And now other important uh, settings you might want to consider is um, the placement override. When dealing uh, with the placement override, you want to move the subtitles down sometimes in case it covers the, it covers the video. And so what you would change is the vertical alignment. You would uh, need to take into consideration that the vertical alignment is from the bottom of the video. So if I have 100%, it means that the video uh, will show the subtitles at the bottom of the video uh, and it, it, the subtitles would not get cut. But if you put it a hun above 100%, the subtitles may get cropped out and uh, display below the video, outside the video area. In general, you have several options. Here you can have uh, padding. Padding allows you uh, to place video subtitles in the black area in, when viewing letterboxed movies. So you can have uh, the subtitles appearing outside the video area. However, on some systems it may cause um, stability issues. Uh, so you may want to leave it at the original height, but this is something you can play with. Um, the other settings, usually you don't need to, to modify these. Uh, you can scale the, the resolution or double the resolution depending on the video source resolution, but this is something you usually don't really need to play with and it, as it takes more processing power. 
Here we can have various options like flipping the picture uh, vertically or uh, flipping the subtitles vertically. Uh, usually these are uh, things that are more for compatibility with all order modes. You don't really need to use them. You can hide the subtitles here, but, but it's not recommended. Uh, OSD statistics, not really something you need to use. Pre-buffer subpictures is good because it allows um, uh, the subtitles to be buffered, which means that they're more responsive, uh, less chance of them causing the video to stall. Um, auto reload. This is usually only requir required for people who are creating subtitle files. Uh, this is sort of a, a debugging function, the saving full path. You don't really need to uh, to use it. Um, apply changing is immediately is good. Timing the timing is important if you have an out of sync subtitles like the subtitles appearing before or after uh, the spoken uh, word so but you have you can have two different type of subtitles sync issues you can have a fixed sync issue where the subtitle is always half a second uh, behind or ahead of the video or you can have a gradual sync issue which means that the, the subtitles get out of sync the longer you play into the video Using this dialog, you can modify uh, the way the subtitles are displayed to try to compensate for this issue. Compensating for, um, for fixed sync is usually pretty easy. Uh, you can try it 100 milliseconds at a time, like you can to put in 100 milliseconds or negative 100 milliseconds to try to see if it uh, fixes the subtitles, make it match the, the voices. And having a gradual sync is really, really, really hard to fix. It's something that requires a lot of experimentation and usually it's just easier finding uh, someone who already fixed the source material and just download the fixed subtitle file. Colors, is this is something you should probably not touch because uh, it can cause stability issues. Path is where the subtitles are looked for. This isn't something you should touch and Zoom Player itself checks additional location for the subtitles. So there's no real reason to, to change anything here. Uh, and that's it basically. Just one more thing with regards to, op to manually opening subtitle files. If your subtitle does not have the same name as your video file, for example, if we open uh, this video file, which doesn't have a subtitle, what we can do to add a subtitle is basically open like you would open any file and then choose the subtitle section and then select the subtitles you would like to display with this video clicking open and the video will reload with the subtitle showing. Another way to display subtitles if your video file does not have them is to drag a subtitle file and drop it over a playing video. The playing video will then use the subtitle file you just drag. That's it for our subtitle configuration video. I hope you have enjoyed it and it was very informative. Thank you.